T. McInerney, commander of Post 2973 DFW. Dedicated this park to Dave Clifford. Hey, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. As I looked at the picture of young Petty Officer Clifford in his Cracker Jack dressed blues and read his bio sheet, I could only think of how Dave really epitomized what it means to be a member of a veteran services organization. He served us wearing the cloth of our great nation and came home to serve his fellow, fellow veterans and his community. He raised the bar for all of us and will always be an example for us to emulate. This beautiful park is now Dave Clifford Memorial Park. A place where we can sit and reflect. A place where we can salute our service men and women, past and present. And a place that will always represent that Dave Clifford made suffering a much better place to live. Tools give you his vegetables and plants from his garden. He always had a story of his growing up and suffering and the jobs he worked at. His service in the U.S. Navy aboard the USS Hassan Young, ED 793, a small destroyer. To me, Dave always wanted to do the right thing, ready to help at any time. Two, three. Village of Suffern Village Board of Trustees proudly named Point Park in honor of lifelong resident and United States Navy veteran David Clifford. What I want to say, what he meant to everybody, everybody here, I guess they I don't even know better half the things he did. He just said, but they bet I'm going out. And that was it. And about Tim, he had a stroke, I knew that, but he didn't he just said, I'm going out. And he just did things he did not recognition. He didn't want any recognition of anything. I thank everybody here for, for this. This I still can't believe it. Thank you again. Achievement in their endeavors. And whereas such service, which is truly the lifeblood of the community and the state, so often goes unrecognized and unrewarded. And whereas the St New York State is blessed, truly blessed, to have citizens who have enriched our local communities by their generous commitment of time and energy. Clifford was a giant of a man. He had a great sense of humor. I guess his nickname was Red. And he would help anyone. He was that type of guy. He did a lot of work around the village. He was very proud of the war. That's why, if you look at the pictures that are up there, they have the boilers because he was on that uh, destroyer, I believe, tin can. And the boiler makers are what they were. So that's what. I think it's a great thing. I, I really do. You know, and it was something that he never expected. And he just never. He was there, but he would always step back. So, I think he was a grand man. I spent many days with him.